That's right, the best part. As, as was Charlotte with Vader. And it's worth noting that Harley Race was Vader's manager. That was on the yeah. 10th anniversary yeah. of the first Starcade, which was you taking the title from Harley. Yeah. So I guess it kind of felt like things had come full circle that night. Exactly. Harley, here's Harley. Ricky, if you don't hit that big fat baby back, I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> and just throw me back in the ring. Right, that was literally at ringside, correct? Oh yeah, he was. He, he, Vader pitched him out to. He pitched me out to Harley. I can't remember what Harley did, but he grabbed me. He said, "If you don't hit that big fat baby back, I'll never talk to you again." <laughs> I, I thought Harley was a great manager, you know, because oh. of his promo ability. How did he feel about doing that job? Uh, some some ex wrestlers. You know, take to that, like it, some don't. Oh, he loved it. Because at that point in his career, all he had to do was have fun. You know what I mean? He wasn't called upon to get in the ring every night, even though he could. You remember he did the dive off the top rope during that match for the, the flying headbutt? Uh, just having Harley race around anything made it more authentic. And you, and you know the reason for that, Mark. I mean, we, we could talk about Harley for 10 episodes of this, this program and never get all the stories in no, but no, just, for sure. Literally, Bear, the Barry, guy, he used to tell Vader, shut up, you big fat baby. <laughs> well, like you said, Harley. Hey, and and Le, Leon never said a word back to him. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, as big as Leon was and as old as Harley was at that point in the fight between those two, there was only going to be one winner. No, it wasn't going to be a fight because Leon wasn't going to fight him. That, that's what I mean. And, uh, and uh, nor, nor was anybody in our dressing room going to fight him. <laughs>